Hey guys, this is Lego Clone Fanatic doing my third review of the Lego Star Wars 2013 sets. I'll be doing it on Z95 Headhunter 75, set 75004. Um, it comes with three minifigures and has 373 pieces and ages 8 through 14. Now let's get on with the minifigures. This is the first one, my favorite. It's the 501st clone pilot. Never really done this in Lego, hasn't it? Looks pretty good. Um, helmet's got some blue, black, and then visor. I don't know. I think mine's like that or not. Well, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's got tons of detail on the back. It looks great. And then the nose, or the mouth, has got the blue marking. And then the torso is different too, the 501st. It's got the plane. You could probably just, I don't know, do whatever, try to get that off. And you got a plane, five, plane phase 2 trooper. Yeah, with that thingy. There. Yeah, it's got the breather pack right there. This system is controls, and then same torso, except without all the blue. And then the back, and then the legs are just regular clone trooper legs that we gotten from the Clone Wars and the old Phase 2s. So, yeah, and then it comes with binoculars for some reason. So that's the 501st clone trooper, I mean clone pilot. Uh, here's the 501st clone trooper. Same as the ATRT. This one's a bit better than the ATRT for me. Oops. Um. Yeah, this one's a bit better than the ATRT one. Same thing, same exact thing. You know, they both have the regular clone trooper head. And then here's the second reason why you want to get this set: General Krell. Now, let's start with his weapons. He's got the double-sided clone double-sided lightsabers red and um, blue and green and then let's move on to the figure he's got immensely amounts of detail there I saw no flaws in him so far probably the eyes the eyes looked a little funny focus there focus mm, he's got beard Get all this stuff. Yeah. He's actually in three separate pieces. Yeah. So here's the first piece. It's just this is all together in one piece. And I thought, why is it in a plastic bag? Can anybody tell me why it is in a plastic bag? This was on a plastic bag of its own, and so is the clone pilot helmet. I don't know, this thing's not squishy. This thing's kind of squishy, it's hard. And then, there's his torso under it, and the legs. And then the back, back, burning. So yeah, it comes with the legs, the body, and then this is one piece. You can probably take off you could probably take off the arms and that'll be three separate pieces, but who would want to do that with General Krell? Yeah, and then he's perfectly taller than this. Yeah, he looks good. A reason why you want to get the set. So, let's move the figures out of the way except for the pilot and the clone trooper. Because there's a few things you want to do with the clone pilot and the clone trooper. General Krell is just added in it for some reason. I guess they wanted to add a general curl to it. So let me put his lightsabers back on him so you don't have to lose it because there's no storage for it in this ship. This ship is only for the clone pilot and possibly the clone trooper. So there's general curl with his lightsabers. Yeah. Pretty cool figure. So let's move on to the Z95. Now, hmm. Now this thing is absolutely huge. Let me go back on it. So this thing has a lot of detail. 
a lot of stuff. It's bigger than what I thought. Like, let me take this clone pilot here and compare this house to it. Here's a clone pilot compared to it. Yeah. Like, let me take this. This is this is just the nose, and this is the clone pilot. No, it's like extremely tall. And extremely big. Yeah. So first, let's do the landing gear. The landing gear is right here. Um, it's just this. This can swivel like that. So how to put it in flight mode? You got to make this go straight down and go like that. And these things, you just go like that. And then you just push it back. And then it's in flight mode. Yeah, let's keep it in flight mode for right now. So, I take a closer look at the cockpit. There's quite a few stickers in this set, like the control panel here, this sticker right here, this sticker right here, this sticker right here, and it's symmetrically on the other side. And that's all the stickers, so a total of six. Yeah. So, um, yeah, here's what it looks like inside. Got the control panel, the seat, it's no bricks, so he could just sit down. And so, let's not set him in there right now, because he's got accessories. Now, here's where the accessories go, in the back. So, here is, um, the weapon rack, where you can take the clone pilot's binoculars, and then put the binoculars right there and then you can also take the clone troopers gun and then put it back here so yeah that's what it looks like with all the stuff on it and then you can put another gun next to it and you just put this right here and then you close it up so yeah now let's put the clone pilot in because now he's got all the stuff in the gear now he's ready to fly now it's got laser cannons, detail, 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 detail. Back, back with immense details. And here's another feature. Um, hold on, underside first. Then, yeah, then you get, then, oh, is that a missile? It's not a flip fire, it's the old style of missiles. Ready? So, how you fire is just pull that back on that, and then the friction. Then here we go, fire on the box. Direct hit. Then you just load it up, put it back in, and fire again. There, that one fell off. So we'll leave that there. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Then engine details, stickers, and then that. Yeah, it was a really fun build. Like, I was building it. I'm like, wow, this thing's larger, and then in so many cool ways. I would have never thought of how to make it like this. Like, I really decided to put it all out on this, especially for a $50 set. Jeez, it looks good. So, that's basically the set. Now, let's move on to um, the box. Now the box, it's got um, three, it says three brand new minifigures, yeah, Yoda at the top, <laughs> and then the clone pilot right there, I don't know why he has binoculars, I don't think give him like a small pistol or something, um, and then, I don't know, as, as, I don't know if they're fighting on Coruscant or Umbara, but it looks like Coruscant to me. And then, here. And then, here's the details. You got the landing gear. Some great scene on Umbara, I guess. And here's another great scene from Umbara. Yeah. You have General Krell, clone pilot, on the ground for some reason. And then the 501st, who's driving the ship then? He's right there. And I guess I should have given him a pistol because I think he won't fight with that with binoculars. Maybe he's a scout. And then schematics on the on the um Z95 and then clone group fighting and then the clone pilot right there. 
and then Channel Crow just sitting here, and there's shots coming right there from the enemy, and then shots coming here from the enemy, and then the clone troopers fire. And here's the thing, um, with the rack, weapon rack behind the ship, and then the flick, and then the fire missile, and then the engine detail, and then that clone pilot. I really love this clone pilot. Should have made more sets with him. Or they should have made more sets with that guy. But, I don't know. There's the 212th one. I don't know. Save that one for summer. Um, then, yeah. So, then, let's look at the instruction manual. Instruction manual is huge. Yeah. One came like that, but then a bit flattened. Somehow. So, yeah, I got the same as the box art, without all the details right here and there. So, it came with the orange separator, and then it came in four bags. I don't know. Um, home pilot, and then the thing, and those details, and then the engines and the wings. And also, I don't know why they didn't put, like, all the figures in one bag. I guess, I don't know why. I think they did that for the MHC too, and then clone pilot. So yeah, the total of how many steps? A total of twenty-nine steps, plus a lot of sub steps, and the finished product, which I'll call right there. And then the clone trooper without his gun, because his gun's in there. And the clone pilot. And then the code again. I tied that. I typed in that code on StarWars.com. Was a Rancor video. Great. And then if you read it, if you actually read it, then make the numbers as letters. It says say hey. <laughs> kind of funny. And then. All of those, yep, that's basically all of them I'm going to show in here. Don't know about M8, I know possibly M8C, and then I don't know about the Bark Speeder. I only want Rex from it, and possibly Obi Wan. But it's really worth $25. And then that, yeah. So, that concludes the review, possibly for the um, winter wave of 2013, unless M8C and Bark Speeder. So yeah, so this is LEGO Clone Fanatic, signing out.